Hello guys, I'm Kevin on behalf of Z3 Fly Tying, and today we're going to be tying the Peacock Caddis, an original pattern by me. Alright, so to tie this, you're going to want some Danville's, or any thread, 6-0, waxed, in like a goldish yellow color. You're going to want some uni thread, uni floss, I mean, golden brown. I'm using a size 10 hook. You can use any size you want, any size. Uh, don't get too small though. It's kind of tough to work with when it's smaller. The secret ingredient, peacock swords. They're not so common, but once you've mastered how to use them, they're terrific material. And the last thing, natural elk hair. So we're not using any super complex materials, just the basics, well, you know, and some learning. So let's, let's start this to fly off. All right, so just gonna run this down to the uh, just to the uh, point or you know, a little before the barb, a little before the barb, right there. That's fine. Bring this down. All right, now we can tie on our peacock sword. What you want to do with the peacock sword is take one out. Now, you want to look for like a consistency, this back. You're trying to look for like a consistency throughout these fibers, and they usually are, or the uh, feathers, and they're usually very consistent. So try to find long to medium, or medium to long um, ones, which are usually towards the back out here. No, it's not focusing. Here, wait one sec. And never mind. I'll just take these long ones back here. You get the point. Don't take too many. Take maybe, what is it, I have five or so. Yeah, it should be fine. So let me snip off these five. You don't even need a hair stacker. Just cut it and go. All right. Got it. Now. All right, that's better. <laughs> now what we want to do, now put these, the short ends, at the front. So we're going to bring our thread back here. put these on the front try not to make them wrap around just yet like that so we can get them on and now this stuff is very very uh, sensitive so don't pull too hard you just want to wrap it like a hackle you can use pliers but I'm just doing it by hand eventually get it all together to get today Alright, just bring it down the shank. I apologize if I'm blocking the view, I can barely, uh, it's tough for me to do this. Alright, that's good, that right there is good. Now I'm gonna bring this back. I'm using yellow, so it doesn't really coincide with anything. If I was using a black, it would kind of look funky. There we go. Now you want to leave a little bit for tailing. So maybe like that. And there you go. That's the body. That is how to dub with a peacock sword. It's very uh, different tactic. But it's one I like to practice a lot. It gives a very odd yet intriguing uh, look. It's kind of like an ice dub if you will. Alright now. Now that that is done. The hard part's over. We can take our... Our floss, a uni floss. Bring this back a little bit and take about, hmm, oh, I'd say maybe inch and a half or so. Not even take like a small piece like that. You don't want to cover the whole thing. Just lay this on. That on like, put that on like that. All right, now we're gonna wrap this around the fly, so it gets like an emeraldish gold look. And try to space it so you get um, even distribution of green and gold. All right, oop. Yeah, let's bring this back. 
and one sec all right all right i apologize for that so i just finished winding that on don't want to wind too much on and i'll trim this here and we'll trim the front just a little bit oops okay and now we get our elk hair i didn't even trim the front i'll do that later now we can take our elk hair Just an average amount, not too much. You don't want to use uh, too much elk hair. Just a little bit. Maybe like that should be good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Put it on like any other elk hair. Some more thread out. All right, we're gonna wind this on. I kind of winded it a bit too far from the eye, but that's not too big a deal. We can always fix that. Cut this so it is maybe here, not too long. You want to cut the head? Ooh, almost cut the thread there, huh? All right. And that, once it's all cleaned up, is the Peacock Caddis or Peacock Emerger, whatever you want to call it. Dry fly technique, dry fly pattern. Let's just finish this real quick. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom and good. And that is it. Here, let me. All right. So there it is. That is the peacock caddis. You could clean it up and make it look a little better, but that is essentially it. So I hope you enjoyed it. hope you fish it. hope it works. My name is Kevin. This is Z3Flies. Till next time. Bye.